If I'm not a crook. I'm going to say something here that I haven't said in the public arena that I, that I think it's time to start thinking about. And that is that I don't want to disparage anyone because of their, their race, their ethnicity, their name, whatever the religion of their father, father might have been. I'll just say this, that when you think about the optics of a Barack Obama potentially getting elected president of the United States, and I mean, what does this look like to the rest of the world? What does it look like to the world of Islam? And I will tell you that if he is elected president, then the, the, the radical Islamists, the, the, the Al-Qaeda and the radical Islamists and their supporters, will be dancing in the streets in greater numbers than they did on September 11th because they, they will declare victory in this war on terror. They will say the United States has capitulated because we would be pulling our troops out of any conflict that has to do with Al-Qaeda anywhere. And additionally, it does matter. His middle name does matter. It matters because they read a meaning into that in the rest of the world that has a special meaning to them. They'll be dancing in the streets because of his middle name. They'll be dancing in the streets because of who his father was and because of his posture uh, that says pull out of the Middle East and pull out of this conflict. So there are implications that have to do with who he is and the position that he's taken. If he were strong in national defense and said, I'm going to go over there and we're going to fight and we're going to win, we'll come home with a victory, that's different. But that's not what he said. They will be dancing in the streets if he's elected president. And that has a chilling aspect on how difficult it will be to ever win this global war on terror.